What's up everyone? John from ARTV. It's time for another Redemption Review. You guys have been asking for this one for a while, so it's time to talk about, again, Vessel by 21 Pilots that came out originally in 2013. This is their third studio album, and a lot of tracks that appear on here were also a part of their second studio album, Regional at Best. You're probably wondering, John, why are you doing a Redemption Review for Vessel? It's because I don't really feel like I knew 21 Pilots at the time. I liked the album. I gave it a positive review, and most of you guys seem to like it. It's just that I'm personally not happy with it. I mean, I didn't even think that review was going to get views. I tried standing up from a long way away. The video is so awkward. If you want to check it out, if you must, I will put it in the description down below all the way at the bottom. I'm going to make you look for that link because, uh, yeah, I'm not too confident about that one. But I really didn't think that many people were going to watch it. I mean, 21 Pilots had not broke in any sense of the word. They had just gotten signed to Fueled by Ramen, just dropping their first major label debut album, and and with Vessel, I didn't see it take off right away. I was there for the smaller days, and I really wish I had gotten to see them now, because now their shows are just packed, there's so many people, and I would love to see them in a more intimate environment, just playing some of these songs. But I guess I missed my chance there. I would love to see some of these tracks. Just a fantastic release. One of my favorite albums of the 2010s, to be quite honest. If you guys have never seen the commentary that Tyler Joseph did for Vessel, it's a really interesting watch, just hearing him talking about some of these songs, what they mean kind of to him, and obviously also him explaining that the meaning of the songs is within the songs. Listen a little bit closer next time. And that's something that really made me pay attention to the lyrics that much more. There's so many metaphors, so many details, and just such a strong, empowering message. These songs are very sad at their core a lot of the time, but they also have a spark of hope, and it's a very relatable factor, and I think it's a very good thing. Not in a pandering way, especially on this record here. It's more so in a, I'm here to help. Music is our friend, let me be your ally. Holding On To You was released as the lead single, and I remember seeing the music video for that and loving it. I fell in love with that song almost instantly, and I was already excited for the album. Then I heard Car Radio and a couple of other tracks that they had previously released, like Kitchen Sink, Addict With A Pen, and I was thinking, well, this seems like a stylistic shift, but I'm really, really digging it. There's a lot of electronic elements, there's some folk elements, especially once I started getting into the album that much more, and we see that on tracks like House of Gold, a track for his mother, and then we just see them playing with all different styles and it shifts like crazy. It's like techno meets hip-hop meets folk meets alternative all combined into one, and we see that right off the bat. They set the song Ode to Sleep first because it's just that. It's a culmination of all different genres, and they want you to know that with this album, you're going to get a taste of everything. And Ode to Sleep, hands down, one of my favorite songs of this decade. I already said that about Vessel in general being one of my favorite albums of the decade, but Ode to Sleep still blows me away. It's just how they pull off these shifts so seamlessly. It's more upbeat, the fast-paced electronic style drumming, and then some drum fills in there, and then it switches off to singing and catchiness, and then shifts back into that darker tone. It's incredible how they pull it off, and it just doesn't even feel awkward at all. Most of us are pretty familiar with the singles on this record at this point. Car Radio just being an incredible powerhouse of an emotional tune, just really getting inside of the mind of Joseph here, and we see him almost falling apart at the seams, and he's just thinking out loud. I love that stream of consciousness style, and so many artists try that, and it doesn't work well. This one is just so believable because you genuinely get the picture of what the music video kind of encapsulates here. He's sitting in a room somewhere, locked away, not knowing what to do, kind of losing his mind. We see all those feelings just build up and finally rise to the brim and just overflow with euphoria as the synthesizers just build up, rise, and overpower. I love the kind of happy, sad contrast a lot of these songs have. I mean, Guns For Hand, Fake You Out, a track that is all about just pretending to be someone just to fit in so that people will like you and that you will live up to society's standards. That song feels so happy. It's got those peppy things on the guitar that are played. I think it sounds phenomenal, but at the same time, you're thinking about the lyrics and you're like, they actually pulled off something pretty dark here. Honesty is a huge part of Vessel, whether it's just being there for someone and relaying that to them, like in the track Truth that closes things out on just such a short, sweet note. It's 
sad in a way, but very hopeful because it's just like you hold on to this feeling knowing that somebody is there for you even during these horrible times, and you hope that they'll in return do the same for you. And then on tracks like Screen, which start off with this building piano melody that just kind of loops over and over again, and it's talking about not really knowing if you've done the right thing or being there for a person like you should, and you're basically apologizing, and we see that kind of pouring out of them on that track. And then I already talked about Fake You Out. That's one where we instantly see just him talking about being fake, others being fake, putting on a facade, and wanting to do away with that. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't in love with every instrumental on this record. It's seriously so perfect whenever it comes down to it, because you see everything from the light bass work that's shifted in there, to just the sweeping piano melodies, and mixing in all these different instruments, and doing it in a way that doesn't make it feel convoluted. And they still don't bury Tyler Joseph's vocals here. Josh Dunn's drums obviously stand out and pound away on a lot of these tracks, but they don't bury any one thing in particular just under the rug. They don't try to sweep anything out of the picture. It's more of them trying to bring attention to a lot of different genres, a lot of different styles, but at the same time staying true to their own identity. And you see that coming through on every single track. And some of the stuff that they come up with, just how catchy they are, like semi-automatic. That track maybe shouldn't be as catchy as it is, especially for the subject matter and guns for hands as well and the huge build up in there and the chorus that's so easy to sing along with every single time and then the euphoria of trees which really isn't a lyrical focused track it's more about the music as joseph himself said in an interview but that track just really seems to be about the build and wants you to focus and pay attention to what they created here and it's like car radio in a sense because it just builds up and then just has that moment where you just kind of lose yourself in the music you want to dance you want to sing you want to shout out along. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. It's so, mm, it's just earwormy. I think the best thing about this record is how easy it is to listen in one sitting. You want to keep going. You don't want to pause. You don't really want to skip over tracks, except maybe House of Gold I've heard one too many times. Don't care for it as much anymore. But seriously, listening through this thing, there's so many moments. I'm like, okay, well, I could point out that one, or I could point out that one, but they're all so good. I mean, just look at Migraine. That track in particular, just seeing kind of like the heartache of society in general looking around him and it gives him a migraine. It's a metaphor, not an actual migraine or a headache, but it's just saying it brings me down as a result of just looking out there, seeing all the hurt, all the hate, everything like that. And once again, it's a very catchy, upbeat melody. I love the way that the synths play on that track and just the stuttered vocals, especially the vocoded ones that kind of start off this song and also kind of appear in the chorus as well. And then we get to the track towards the end of this thing, more so I guess the middle of the record, the run and go, which is one that is just, I could imagine would be so fun to see live because Joseph talks about it with such passion whenever he says I made this song in order to be played in live settings. It's weird because it's really kind of hard for me to relay my feelings on Vessel. I mean ask me one week or one month what my favorite songs are it might be different from whenever you ask me the next month. There's so many great songs it's excellent from start to finish honestly. Vessel as an album like I said flows perfectly even though there's so many different genres and styles from rapping to singing to really just a little bit of everything even even kind of spoken word just talking. It's got it all and it all works together somehow and it works way better than it should. This is easily their best album in my opinion. I don't see any flaws with it and I can easily confidently give this a 5 out of 5. Thank you guys for watching my redemption review for Vessel by 21 Pilots. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and check out our sponsor 21 Pilots Click Amino. It's those top two links in the description down below. Go download it and of course add me on the app ARTV. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to check out my blurry face review or another 21 Pilots video that I did on this channel, then click those little annotations directly below me. You can find all of my social media in the description. And other than that, I will see you guys very soon right here on ARTV.